you give me a few clicks on door 416? All right, I'm doing it. I love this game. We've almost got it. Oh, shit. All right, I'm on my way. Oh, man. This is amazing. I need this guy as my coach. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. Yeah. Yes! Oh, wow. Oh, my God, the achievement! Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now. What were you thinking? Are we ready to begin the game, The Stanley Parable? It's been a while. It's been a while since I played this. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Great. And then Stanley looked at a coffee mug. Watch the narrators. And then he stared at a coffee mug for 17 hours straight, thinking about all of those coffee stains on the mug. Would they come out in the dishwasher? Would he have to get a new mug that didn't have stains on it? Are stains bad for you? Do they have germs in the stains? Do you need to worry about these sorts of stains ever? No? We have to do something all different. All workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so if it says to go to the meeting room, we're gonna jump out the window instead. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Is anyone under here? <gasps> okay, I turned the computer off. That's gotta count for something, right? We have to try to get every single ending in the game. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, fuck you! I want to do things differently. Okay, let's hide behind here. Ah. <laughs> uh, there's no jump scares in this game, is there? Oh, yeah, when here we Stanley go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, we did it. We entered the door on our left. We did what the narrator told us. I'm pretty sure last time I played, I went on the right. I ignored everything the narrator said, and I did the opposite. So now we have to do everything he says. <gasps> it's the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. <laughs> Fire paper guy. <laughs> Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? Oh, these are amazing. They're so good. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But there is something in here, isn't there? There's like a secret entrance. There was into... nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Okay, if I just stay in here, something's gonna happen, right? Like a door's gonna open up or something? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. There's got to be something in this broom closet, right? I'm convinced now. Maybe I can jump up here or something? Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet <laughs> ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Wait, is there a 
your broom closet ending? We just tapped to Stanley was we just tap to stay put. Stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh my god! It's just like me! I'm fat and stupid too! Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about <laughs> to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, oh my in a situation God. like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Inside the broom Hello? closet. Anyone who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost <laughs> on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay. There's, there's definitely something in here, right? If you wait long enough, like imagine a face just appeared like in the wall. It's like, hi, Stanley. Ah, I'm gonna be so scared. I'm like scaring myself thinking about it. Jeez. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of aliens. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Maybe he'll get more mad at me. Maybe if I just waste all of his time. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. And the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> He's so pissed. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba da 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 Or we can escape. Maybe we should just go right through and do what he says. Oh, it's a whole bunch of codes. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. There's a clue in the meet. there's got to be a clue in the meeting room, right? 284, 845. Did I press this one? I did, right? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't remember this part. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. What if I leave him running? System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh!
Did I do that last time? I don't remember like what choices I made last time. Thanks. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I don't remember as this sunlight ending. streamed into the chamber. He realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Bow. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Is it too late to go back? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That's the best ending, right? That has to be the best ending. Achievement unlocked. Beat the game. Well, that didn't take very long, did it, guys? But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh! The office has changed! It's changed! Not an indication of any human life. What? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Therefore, Stanley, Maybe if I crouch, I can avoid dying here. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. That's weird, isn't it? This is the story of... Okay, we can skip all this, right? We've seen it already? Whoa! There's paper everywhere in this office! Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm... I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. I'm, I'm going to sit here and do all 50 of them. You know I'm going to. 
I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? All right, where's 417? New objective. Find room 417. Here. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415? No problem. I'm, on, I'm right on it. 417, 416, 415. Now, back to door number 437. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. 437, 437. Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where is it? I'll click on it a million times. Where's the copy machine? Copy machine, where could you be? Oh, son of a bitch, there is no copy machine. It's all a, it's, it's a lie. He's lying to me. There's no copy machine in this office. It's in there! How do I get to it? Let me in! Alright, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, thanks chat. I was gonna stand there and stare at that one. 417, sure. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419? Where's 419? <gasps> I can't climb on the- Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few <laughs> clicks on door 416. All right! I'm doing it! I love this game! We've almost got it! Oh, machine, do shit! That all right, I'm on my way! Oh, man. This is amazing. I need this guy as my coach. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. Yes! Oh, wow. Oh, my God, the achievement! Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now. What were you thinking? Oh, what happened here? Come on. I can't go into my favorite place ever. Look how fast I'm going. Holy crap. I know my way around here perfectly now. Here's the door. Just go. <laughs> okay, thanks. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. No! I have a boss, I have an office. I am real. Please, <laughs> someone tell me I am real. I it's must going be real. real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> oh my god! It went black. Oh! Oh god, that's so creepy, isn't it? This and is that... the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. <laughs> we need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. That's not even my desk! That is not even my desk! What is going on here? Money in the morning and money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Money crisp! <laughs> wow! It opened! Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. 5,000 bucks. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, <laughs> on the platform and plunge to his death. Oh Good job, God. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All right, are you ready? This time we're not going to jump off. Look at all these Look, crates. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. We're going out through shipping and receiving. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. I have a strict no answering the phone policy. I do the I do the filtering by voicemail and sometimes caller ID. You won't catch me picking up a phone, no way. I'm a screener. <laughs> I'm a call screener. We're gonna wait this one out. Or kick the table. As Stanley oh. picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him. Filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was you possible. Do it. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment <laughs> so we can educate you properly no! on decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his <laughs> Oh my house. god! Which choice would you make? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. And see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. The left! All you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I have to go in the right. I have to, right? No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What's this? <laughs> Look at the filing cabinet. Oh my god. What's going on in here? The whole place all fucked up. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. This fucking game. Are we in I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Oh my, my entire God. game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is <laughs> behave exactly as Oh my! Come on! Using responsibly. Monetize free to play. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! No! No! Oh, son of a bitch! Huh? Hey, it's all different. Oh, maybe we can go in here. Hey, look at this! Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Oh. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? I'm Please not yelling that! Speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? 
It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. Oh the my kind of god. Stanley shows for his choices. Oh my When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he What the fuck is this? <laughs> Go right. Stanley? Hello? Are you Is everything okay? Stan, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? What the fuck? Stan, this is important. Look at his face! The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Oh! I, I don't know how to convince you of this, Look. but I really do want to help you. To Danger you everywhere. Beautiful. My boxes! Oh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door door I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> Stanley walked Come on I want the blue door. one Blue's my favorite <laughs> You can go through this All right, fine go ahead Stanley <laughs> oh, you, you do you can Okay there we go a third option This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before Go ahead Stanley take it for a spin Okay Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. A one? I mean, I can understand <laughs> your reservations. You saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? <laughs> oh my god, it's everything I always wanted. Look! <laughs> Good old Neil! Wait. Good old Neil? Where's me? Oh, I've not been playing this app, this game for seven hours and thirty-seven minutes. <laughs> oh my god! Only the worst three percent of players chose the blue door. <laughs> oh my god! The baby crawls left towards danger. <laughs> oh my the god! To move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay. <laughs> you heartless bastard. Do you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience. Look at the thing is still popping. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, my. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, <laughs> why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Okay, Let's sure. See. What do we have here? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, is this any better? At last, the one thing you always desire. Nothing to do. Oh my god! Is it enough? This is ridiculous. Okay, what does it need? I uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all this off. This is crazy. Yes. It's complete. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You trapped in a glass box with no way out. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happy. I broke the game. Oh, I'm on. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary, <laughs> the nature of video game structure, and its examination of structural narrative tropes. 
Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just <laughs> escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. Oh, my... <laughs> God! Uh, <laughs> this is all you need, though, right? A little bedroom, a bathroom, little kitchen, place for your computer desk. As he wandered through this Done. fantasy world, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? <laughs> tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. Or have but we? Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh, from here. It's um left. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win. Yes. I know you put in a lot of hard work, Fuck. and it really paid off. So, good Great. job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Come on. Okay. Oh, this is when, this is the bit with the music. I remember this. I remember. Ah! We go through some of these places now. All right. Lay it on me, game. I'm ready for the music. See? I think what we need right now is That's a bit right of music there. to lighten the mood. Yes. Oh, this is the best adventure ever! You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Whee! The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. A new direction! <laughs> Pardon me. It's zigging and zagging. Up every wall. I need to get my sleep. Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm so tired. I got like a solid six hours of sleep last night. That should be enough, right? Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight? Eight times? That's really how all this goes? <laughs> it's all determined? I think we I think we almost stumbled upon this one early on. Because I was farting around here and then this opened and I was able to go back. But maybe I didn't go back and press the light bulb again. Because I think I just tried to go in the door. Oh, fuck me. <laughs>